It is almost Christmas and I don't have a Christmas tree yet, but an ordinary one is kind of boring for an electronic enthusiast. So I sat down and created my own miniature LED Christmas tree, which turned out to be a nice decoration. I'm going to show you the easy steps to build your own. What did I use for this tree? Well, not much exactly. Most importantly, it needs time and patience. On the material side we have a small PCB for mounting the root of the tree and giving the whole construction stability. Then of course the LEDs. I used diffused green ones with a forward voltage of 3.2 volts. And the most important material for creating the structure is bridge wire. Basically just cooper wire which is silvered. And of course lots and lots of solder. Step 1. Creating a lot of straight strings of the wire. I used two pliers to grip the wire and stretched it with force. You should get really nice straight wire this way. And we're gonna need a lot of it. Step 2. I did not have a PCB with the right size, so I used this old one where only one half is used. Just gonna use my cutter to engrave a line and then use an edge to break the PCB apart. Step 3. I soldered four Cooper wires which are 30 cm long to the PCB which will represent the root of the tree. Two of them will be the 5 volt ray of the tree and the other two the ground rail. I also added those plastic feet to give the PCB more grip on the surface. Step 4. Bending the wires to circles. I basically had four different sized wires for the circles. 40 cm, 30 cm, 20 cm and obviously 10 cm. I am slowly bending those wires by hand and soldered the ends together, which really requires patience because it has to look somehow like a circle in the end. And even with all my goddamn patience, it sometimes looks, well, not nice. Those will be the positive circles which will have the 5 volt potential later. You thought you were done with bending, weren't you? Wrong. Step 5. Bending the ground circles. The LEDs will later sit in between those two, so the ground circle has to be slightly smaller. I subtracted 2 cm from each circle and bent rings again. Ok, step 6. Time to solder the LEDs to the rings. Positive side goes to the bigger circle and the negative side to the smaller one. I used 8 LEDs for the two biggest circle pairs and then 4 LEDs for the two smaller ones. And always test your circles during the build. You don't want to replace an LED when the tree is complete. But only use 3.2 volts when you don't want to use a resistor in series. Step 7. Now it's assembly time. I used 9 volt batteries as spacers and used bridge wire again to connect the circles to the root. Positive circle connects to the 5 volt strings and the negative circle connects to the ground strings. And remember, this wire is conductive in every point. That means I have to look out that 5 volts and ground potential never touch at any point. That would equal a short circuit and the LEDs will not light up. And at the end I put a single LED on top between the 5 volts and ground root. Step 8. How to power it. We can't use 5 volts for 3.2 volt LEDs. A resistor is necessary. The tree draws 204 milliamps at 3.2 volts which means we have to divide 1.8 volts by 0.204 amps, which equals around 8.82 ohms, and a power of 0.37 watts. I bought this 1 watt 10 ohm resistor and just soldered it in series to the 5 volt rail. Now it works with 5 volts and even USB power. I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and I will see you next time.